Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about implications of mobility. This topic is present in the subject wireless networks. Let us discuss implications of mobility. Transmission control protocol, that is TCP's performance, not only depends on wireless link behavior, but also varies quite appreciably on user mobility. If the link layer performs handoffs and guarantees reliability despite handoff, then, then TCP will not be aware of the handoff except for potential delays during handoff. While slow start is one of the useful mechanisms in fixer networks, it drastically decreases the efficiency of TCP fused together with mobile receivers or senders. The reason for this is the use of slow start under the wrong assumptions. From a missing acknowledgement, TCP concludes a congestion situation. Error rates on wireless links or orders of magnitude higher compared to fixed fiber or copper links. Packet loss is much more common and cannot always be compensated for by layer 2 retransmission or error correction. Trying to retransmit on layer 2 could, for example, trigger TCP retransmission if it takes too long. Layer 2 now faces the problem of transmitting the same packet twice via a bad link. Detecting these duplicates on layer 2 is not an option because more and more connections use end-to-end -end encryption make it impossible to look at the packet. Mobility itself can cause packet loss. Standard TCP reacts with slow start if acknowledgement are missing, which does not help in the case of transmission errors over wireless links and which does not really help during handover. This behavior results in severe performance degradation of unchanged TCP fused together with wireless links on mobile nodes. Let us see the phone representation as static scenario. So before the mobile phone arrives, we have used the landline connection for making a connection that is the call between the one end to the other end. For that, we are using the dialed phones or other landline phones for making the contact. This is indicated in this diagrams. Now we see a mobile scenario. Before the evolution of the mobile phones, it is not possible for the person to make a call when he is in moving. This is one representation. A man is walking. When doing this, it is possible for him to attend a call or make a call. This is represented here. Another representation. The third representation. These pictures indicate the mobile scenario of recent times. Now, it is possible for the man to attend a call or make a call while in traveling also. This is represented in this diagram. Now, we are going to see the transmission range between the server and the client. Here, the server is represented as a laptop and the client is represented as the mobile phone. This is indicated in this second diagram. We are going to discuss the implications of mobility with the help of two topics. 
one is roaming and the another one is the handoff we will discuss in detail about these two topics in further slides roaming roaming refers to the continued data service you get when you go outside of your mobile operator's coverage area for example you can continue to access the internet or make calls when traveling internationally thanks to cooperative agreements between your cellular provider and other network operators roaming scenario a small representation so with the help of this latest technologies it is possible for us to make a call or attend a call whenever or wherever we are available throughout the world it is possible for us to create a call another scenario here we have a call this call can reach throughout the world or wherever we are available this is indicated in this representation now we see data roaming data roaming refers to your phone connecting to the internet through a different network to the one you pay your bills to if you need to use your phone a lot while you are abroad ask your mobile service provider about any traveling or roaming packages they offer if you are in an area where your mobile phone has no signal your phone can roam to find another network to connect to instead this is what happens when you travel abroad with your phone data roaming refers to your phone connecting to the internet through a data different network to the one you pay your bills to now we see mobile data versus data roaming mobile data is internet access via mobile signals that is 3g 4g etc data roaming is the term used when your mobile phone is using data on a mobile network away from your home network while you are abroad so whenever you are using mobile data outside your registered region you are roaming your data data roaming is great and the cheaper it gets the closer we come to genuinely connected mobile travel better still though is 4g data roaming sometimes known as lte that is long term evolution 4g means faster data download speeds quicker mobile searches and speedier online apps it's not entirely peripherals now we see handoff in a cellular telephone network handoff is the transition for any given user of signal transmission from one base station to a geographically adjacent base station as the user moves around each base station transition as well as the switching process sequence itself is called handoff a handoff refers to the process of transferring an active call or data session from one cell in a cellular network to another or from one channel in a cell to another a well implemented handoff is important for delivering uninterrupted service to a caller or data session user difference between handoff and roaming the term handoffs is used when a subscriber wanders in the cells in a local cellular system in cellular technology when a person travels among different cellular systems in many countries or the city then it is called that he is in roaming types of handoff two types of handoff are there they are 
hard handoff and soft handoff hard handoff hard handoff that is in a hard handoff a natural break in the connection occurs while switching from one cell to another the radio links from the mobile station to the existing cell is broken before establishing a link with the next cell it is generally an interfrequency handoff hard handoff representation and this is a representation two base stations are available in between the two base stations a mobile phone is available to that mobile phone the control of the two base stations takes place if a mobile wants to go from one cell region to another cell region means the connection has to be break when it goes to the next region this is indicated here here is another representation now the person is in cell b the person wants to enter to cell a before the person wants to enter in cell a the previous connection has to be breaked this is indicated in this diagram soft handoff soft handover or soft handoff refers to a future used by the cdma and wcdma standards where a cell phone is simultaneously connected to two or more cells or cell sectors during a call if the sectors are from the same physical cell site that is a sectorized site it is referred to as soft handoff in soft handoff the radio links are added and removed in a way that the mobile station that is ms always keeps at least one radio link to the utran in cdma this technique is performed soft handoff representation is shown below and this is a scenario in this scenario before handoff occurs the mobile station is in base station 1 during the handoff the mobile station is in between the base station 1 and base station 2 during this handoff the mobile station is having a control over both the base stations 1 and 2 after handoff the mobile station enters to the base station 2 and the base station 2 completely controls the mobile station this is indicated in this diagram now we see the difference between handoff and handover handoff is the process that occurs when a mobile is handed over from one access point to another whereas that is the access point which the mobile is using changes whereas handover is the transference of authority control power or knowledge from one base station to another handoff scenario representation for both hard handoff and soft handoff here is a representation thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends